radical farmer, how can we make agriculture cool for the young people? They say women are the ones that never say their age. We never share how old we are. Uh -huh. But men gladly share how old they are. Yeah. Would you mind telling us how old you are and probably talk to the young people on how we can make agriculture cool for them? Okay, um, I'm only, I, I turned 29 years old this much. And um, I'm very proud to be a farmer. Mm. And I can assure you I die as a farmer. Because I've seen what the majority are not willing to see. You see, I was in the computer world. I was an engineer called a computer engineer, software programmer. Mm -hmm. You know those, those cool names, names, but very broke, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we have to get to the reality of things. Uh -huh. That's one thing. We are living a fake life. We have to get to the reality of things. I, you know, sometimes it's pity, like very soon there's an outlet which was opening. They wanted just about uh, maybe must be something like 60. Mm -hmm. But the bunch of people who are pride, oh, yeah, it, so it is a pity. Yeah. And now, the people who are employing, they can see that these are, these, are, these are stranded. And we become victims of mistreatment. You've seen what has been happening, you know, how we are being mistreated. Because we, we make ourselves vulnerable. But Zambia has got more than 58 million hectares of fertile land. Talk about water reservoirs. We've got a lot of water levers everywhere. So how we can make this cool is that we have to understand where we are. We have to admit, you know, this fake life, Facebook life, whereby we want that level when we are here. So things have changed. There's a time when employment was cool, but not now. We've got so many accountants, even doctors. When you were a doctor and you graduate those days, it was guaranteed that you're going to be what? But not now. Recently, doctors were protesting because of no employment. Only COVID created an opportunity for them to be what? To be employed. Talk about accountants. They're being knocked off. Teachers is a mess. You see, mm -hmm. things have changed. We have to realize what opportunities. Like, for example, I got into agriculture, like full time, um, full time into agriculture. The last one year. Last last one year. Mm -hmm. And they, like one of the partners, a musical partner, I'm driving a brand new Isuzu. From where? From the showroom. You see, from the showroom, six hundred thousand. Ah, showroom, in farming. <laughs> now I can, uh, I can assure you. Mm -hmm. If I was working in the computer world, I wasn't going to partner on Sika so that we can have work together and acquire those assets. Like right now, what I'm looking at, in the, like with farming, the future is farming. And actually one of, it must be Dangote who said the next billionaires are coming from agriculture in Africa. Mm. So if you are thinking backward, stay there. Me, I'm thinking forward. I'm seeing farming is the way to go. People eat on a daily basis. All these chain stores, they are, the food which is there is coming all the way from South Africa. We had lockdowns and we farmers couldn't supply. And that's said we've got a problem, we've got a food deficiency in Zambia. Onion is coming all the way from South Africa. Bananas. If you can grow bananas and supply the market, you're going to be making a decent living. Like I would assure you, like the money that I make in a week. In a week. Some guys who are working in these companies with the big two with titles, they have to work for four years even maybe. The money that I can make in a what? In a week. Mm -hmm. And in the near future, Actually, I'll be making even more than a president. Because that guy can only stay for five years. Me, I'll be making money forever. Mm. You see? And no one can fire me. You see? People are going to be eating on a daily basis. That's a guarantee. Whether you like it or not, you are poor, you're not poor. You have to eat. And the food is not for free. So when you are growing food, you are guaranteed that someone, all these empty stomachs, and the population is growing. And I say these guys, they're running to the what? To the cities. And in the cities, there are no farms. We deliver food from the farms to the what? the cities mm -hmm. you see so if you come in the agriculture space just know that you're in the right what if you cannot sell but at least you have what to eat you cannot starve now if you're not working and you're not employed you're going to be starving because you don't have money to buy but to buy what food you see so that's how i look at it we have to get back to the reality of things and see things as they are and also look forward how is the future going to be yeah wow i love that now we again we take a short break when we come back we continue talking about how we can make agriculture cool especially for the young people i mean if you look at the numbers that are being offloaded from uh, universities young people that are graduating yet they don't have jobs so i really want you to really stress on how it is important that we actually go back to the land yeah. i think uh, first republican president used to talk about go back to the land 
but I think we didn't get it as, as Zambians, but now we see it being very, very practical. We take a short break and we'll be right back.